after IBM CEO Ginny Rometty got off of the opening keynote stage, she sat down with us on CNBC. One of the things I talked to her about is new ground that IBM's trying to break in artificial intelligence, broad AI, and she said something interesting about the application for business, how customers are now not just looking for innovation, but they're looking for cost savings from this technology. Take a listen. I was with Delta, Walmart, ExxonMobil all joined me, and a number of us were talking about this. I do see with clients today, they're looking for two different value propositions that I think line up with what you just said. Um, if I look at a longer arc of time, you had a lot of focus on innovation, innovation. Today, what I see clients asking for is innovation and productivity at the same time. So I, I think that's a signal of how people are feeling. They want to, and they want to look at things that do both of these. So that's definitely something I see. For us, I feel very good. We're good in both ends of that spectrum of being able to help people with cost savings as well and productivity as well as innovation. But you definitely see that move amongst what people are focusing on. Perhaps signaling a bit of a shift in the economic winds. I also got a bit of time with Allstate CEO uh, Tom Wilson. He also happens to be the chairman of the U.S. Chamber of Commerce. Talk to him about, th they're getting ready to put out their talking points agenda for 2019. That's happening tomorrow, but got a preview, particularly when it comes to the issue of tariffs and the impact on U.S. businesses of all sizes. Here he is. There should be standards around how quickly you put them in place. All right, like Businesses can adapt. If you can put a 10% tariff in, give me a couple of years. I'll figure it out. Do it in two days. Too much disruption, too much uncertainty. That's what causes the markets to get upset. That's what causes people to stop investing. So we really need to come up with a way in which we can just trade on a longer term basis and get governments to act in what's the economy's best interest, not just their political best interest. Not taking a position so much on the tariffs themselves, but the need for visibility and stability uh, from business.